go. Okay. 
Okay, as Amanda introduced me, my name is Jody. I have known Amanda about my entire life. Since I was a little squirt. <laughs> um, me and Amanda have always been best friends. We practically did everything together for seven years. More than that. <laughs> um, I will never forget the time that Amanda walked up to me when we were working at Baumgars together and told me, this was about three years ago by the way, she told me that she was going to go on a, break, on a date with Brett and then she asked me how I felt about it. And I told her to go for it because this could be the first day of the rest of your life. And what did I tell you? <laughs> it was the first day of the rest of your life. <laughs> so I just, the lucky one was Brett. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda has taught me in the time that we have been friends tons of wonderful things she's taught me how to be patient and kind she's taught me how to push my work ethic all the way through and for that I owe her a big thank you basically what I'm trying to say is without Amanda I wouldn't be where I am today when I first met Brett when I was a waitress at the bowling alley and he would have lead. That was fun, let me tell you that. It was always a good time, let me tell you. So, my little advice for Amanda is to always push herself to go further with everything that she does, including with Brett, to be the best mother that she could ever be and the best wife. And my advice for Brett is, remember, a happy wife, a happy life. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and hand it off to... I'm going to go ahead and give this to Jade now. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Oh yeah, congratulations to the bride and the groom. Good evening, everyone. I'm just going to come over here and slide by me. Like you normally do? <laughs> I'm going to slither over by Amanda. <laughs> like to say that how awesome it is to be here tonight. And thank you everyone for coming out and supporting Brett and Amanda. You know, at first I was nervous when Amanda had asked me to give a speech. But as I started to think about what I was going to talk about, I realized how grateful I was to stand up and say how amazing Amanda is and all the amazing things Amanda has taught me. And yes, I wrote mine down because I scramble for words if I don't. Growing up, Amanda and Jody and I have spent countless times driving around all hours of Akron, day and night, jamming to music and pro causing trouble throughout Akron. Anybody who knows us will know that and validate that. Yes, Jake, you know very well. Memories are pretty much inappropriate and will not be spoke up tonight, but just know that they are there. It's amazing how much damage three girls can cause to a vehicle or three. Yes, Amanda, you know what I'm talking about. However, Mom and Dad did say it was a waste of time and money to drive around countless hours wasting gas. But however, Don, Dom, Dom was a big, big ideal of that. Did not approve of that one at all. But to us three, it was not a waste. Because first, the bond that was created by driving around countless hours is a sisterhood that could withstand anything. 
And second, the things about us are the life lessons. Even though we were destroying vehicles left and right, Amanda has taught Jody and I how to be ladies, how to be the best women we could be, and how to fight for what we believe in and all around respect for life. Even though we were blowing up motors and radiators, Amanda has shown Jody and I another lesson to life, and that is how to love. Looking, looking back at the beautiful memories that Amanda has created for Jody and I, but she has also shown Jody and I this beautiful love that her and Brett have created together. And I am so excited to watch how their drive through life will unfold. And I wish Brett and Amanda a lifetime of driving hand to hand together. Congratulations. I'm sure everybody knows in this room that this is Scott Jacobs, except if you're out of town. If everybody sees him tonight, just call him Jake. His name is Scott, but just call him Jake, and he will respond. All right. So I don't know how many of you know Brett real well, but until he met Amanda and had Ellie, there was two things that were favorite in his life. Baseball and sleep. Okay? So, I got to know Brett about 15 years ago or so. We started playing baseball together. And um, his mom and dad lived towards Sioux City and I always told them if you uh, ever need a place to stay, you can stay at our house. We lived in Athens. And we had a lot of games on the weekends, on Friday nights. and. Uh, one Friday night, after a game, we got to be pretty late, and we were out way too late, and drank way too much, and I said, hey, don't drive down to your mom and dad's, just stay at our house. He said, okay. So he stays overnight, and I wake up the next morning at a normal time, like normal people do, eight, nine o'clock, and uh, of course I've got a wife, and I've got a son at the time that's about four. My daughter wasn't even born yet. And um, he, of course, he gets up and wants to play at 8, 9 o'clock in the morning. So I'm up, and we're playing and doing our thing. And Brett's in the basement sleeping. And so it gets to be close to 11. And my wife said, you know, we wake him up or get him up or what? And I said, no, just let him go. He's fine. He'll be up in probably a half hour and drive home. So it gets to be noon. And he has, we don't see him. He's still in our basement sleeping. So she makes lunch. We eat and it gets to be close to one o'clock. Well, one o'clock on Saturdays at that time, we went to the swimming pool. That's what my son and kids always wanted to do. She said, what should we do? He's, we don't, I don't know where he's at. And I said, well, we'll go down and check on him. So I went down and looked, and he's laying downstairs, his arms over his head, and he's sleeping. So it's one o'clock. We go to the swimming pool. We stay for three hours like we did every Saturday. I get home at four o'clock, we're driving home, pulling up to my house and his car's still sitting there and I'm like, okay, somebody must have come and picked him up, he's golfing, doing something fun, whatever. So we get in the house, no sign of him, and I said, oh my God, I'll bet he's still in the basement. So we go downstairs and look, and he's laying there in the same exact position, <laughs> and it's four o'clock in the afternoon. So he slept 14 straight hours by now. So, I come back upstairs and I tell Chris and my wife, I said, oh my God, he's down there sleeping yet. I don't know how he does it. And we kind of laughed and we said, you know what? Someday, somebody is going to marry this guy. And here we are. <laughs> so, anyway, I just want to say congratulations, Amanda and Brett, and hope you have a lifetime of happiness. Cubs won today, 8-5 from where anybody cares. Go Cubs, go! Go Cubs, go! Hey, April, 
Cruz, Bill, what do you say? The Cubs won today. Okay, I'm going to turn the microphone over to my one and only father. And if it was not for him, none of this would have been possible today. We love you very much, and we thank everybody that has been in our day today. We, we hope that God blesses you on your travels, and we hope that all your happiness comes true. We love you. Well, hi, everyone. Thank you for coming and help my daughter and her husband celebrate this wonderful event. And all you mothers have a very, very special day to do. But anyway, we're going to get the dance started here real soon. Anybody that hasn't had enough to eat, that's your own fault. <laughs> so what I'm saying is, if you want to go back through, go through. So that's all I have to say. And I love my daughter very much. microphone over to my mother-in-law to say a few words. She is a woman of very few words, but we love her very much. We love you, Judy. I'm Daniel. <laughs> Here is Judy. What do you want to know about Brett? Oh, we love dominoes. We love playing games and we love those cubbies! Where's Jesse Heron? What a Hey Jesse, guess who won today? The cubbies, eight to five. <laughs> I'm apparently wearing Cardinal Red today. Anyway, Rich and I, Rex's dad and I, couldn't be any happier to have Amanda in our family. We love you both.
and I am grateful especially to Sharon. Love you, girl. Thanks for everybody for coming. I'm glad that those that travel the distance meet the distance. And I'm most, most proud of the beautiful woman that her dad and her stepmom, Joanne, has raised. And we've all got to see Walk Down the Aisle today and marry her best friend and her love of her mom. Oh, 